What's happening? I mean, truly, what has just happened in the last, oh, I don't know, seven hours of the NFL? Here's why this is crazy. All right. If you have not heard, which I'm sure you have, Devontae Adams has been reunited with Aaron Rodgers. He will be going to the Jets, which I think is big news. However, in bigger news, more shocking news, news that no one expected, because maybe some of us expected this would happen. This has kind of been in the air for a while. We kind of knew this was going to be, after the Robert Sala firing, that, that Aaron Rodgers was going to get his way one way or another, and his way was probably getting his old buddy back. Okay, that didn't shock anybody. This shocked me. And, and I'm sure it shocked most of the fans across the nation. Amari Cooper will be traded to the Bills. I think this is bigger news than is the Devontae Adams news. So again, why is it crazy? It's crazy because last night these two teams play each other. And it's not just a normal game. This is a divisional game. This is a game that had playoff implications. I saw a statistic that said uh, if the Bills won that game, they have an 85% chance to make the playoffs, win the division. And if the Bills lost that game, it went down to like 54, right? So this, even though it's week you know, what is it, six? I mean, it was week six. This was a game with huge implications, all right? So the Bills pull it out. And how did they pull it out, right? Because the storyline, I think, matters here. They pulled it out because the receiver play of the Jets did not pan out, right? You saw Mike Williams fall down. Aaron Rodgers calls him out today uh, and said he ran the wrong route. Um, so, you know, like that, that caused a lot of it. Like that could could have been the difference in the game, right? You can blame their rush defense. You can blame their missed field goals. So there's things you can say. But at the end of the day, right, Garrett Wilson, Alan Lazard, fine. Uh, but there's another thing missing, and the pass game is suffering because of it. Um, so what do they do, right? Like, what did they do after they lose that game because of their wide receiver play, one could say? Um they went out and got Devonte Adams, and again, this was something that some of us may have expected, right? A conditional third round pick, which I think is good for both teams, and I'll explain why. So, first for the Raiders, uh, Devonte Adams has a massive contract. Now, I do not know at what point he is in his contract right now, but I know that the Jets are going to now have to pay that price tag. Um, so they lose cap space, and what's this team doing? I mean, look across look across the roster. There's not a ton of veteran leadership on this team. It's a very young team, right? So uh, let's get rid of this leadership, okay? We'll band together as young guys. We'll go out and get some more talent, right? Maybe we'll, we'll build from, from the ground up, right? And not try to put pieces around Devontae Adams. And they tried the experiment, and it didn't work out. Jimmy Garoppolo, right? We could go on and on. So that's the good news. They lose the cap space. Now, the bad news is they do lose a talent, I, I do think that uh, this is a guy like very few others in the NFL at the wide receiver position. So, of course, that's an obvious loss, but it's an overall win. I think overall the cap space kind of getting a, a fresh, you know, a fresh breath of air because this has been looming over their head, you know, and him not being happy. And what good is talent if talent is not willing to perform for you because they are unhappy, right? So that's the point that it was at. It had to happen, all right? So overall win for the Raiders. The Jets. What happens with them? Well, they get to reunite Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, longtime Packers players, and uh, I think that's good for team morale. You know, what, what do they say? If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. If wife ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Those phrases are get tossed around. If quarterback's not happy, ain't nobody happy. I don't think Aaron Rodgers has been happy. So they do gain a talent. They gain a morale boost. It's an overall win. All right. And this was fine. I could have gone to sleep at night saying exciting things happened in the NFL today. And then two o'clock came around and Amari Cooper gets traded to the Bills, which is a shock. I don't know who expected this. I certainly did not expect this. What's the details? Cooper to the Bills and they get a six round pick. The Browns get a third round pick and a seventh round pick. So, uh, you know, not bad, not bad for the Bills, especially. We'll talk about it. Going to be a free agent was Amari Cooper. So his importance to the team really hung on this year and guess what what in the heavens i don't need these pop-ups get out of here failed to load extension i'm not we're not extending anything right now and amari cooper is especially not getting extended 
Nice segue. Um, because I think they would have let him walk. Most likely, they would have let Amari Cooper be a free agent after this year. Uh, this year has turned out to be a complete disaster. They are probably going to have to start looking at quarterbacks. So it just made sense to them to get some more picks on a team that could turn into another young team in the NFL. You can maybe argue it's still a young team. Anyway, uh, so if he's going to walk, you may as well get something out of it, right? They knew they had 11 weeks left with him. Let's, let's trade 11 weeks of wide receiver talent for these picks, okay? That's a good thing. That's a win for the Browns, right? But the Bills, let me take a breath. And I don't want to get overexcited. I, and I'm not excited because I'm not a Bills fan. But I don't want to get, uh, you know, I don't want to exaggerate here. But this could be the difference in the Bills going to a Super Bowl. All right, this is the weapon that Josh Allen has been missing. If I said to you before last night's game, name three receivers on the Bills. Okay, you either are deep into your fantasy football waiver wire, all right, or you're a sports better. Because not many casual fans can tell you Khalil Shakur, Keon Coleman, Mac Hollins, Curtis Samuel, like this is a group of as who said it. Uh, somebody called the 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 Seahawks wide receivers Doug Baldwin, Jermaine Curse, um I don't even know who else was playing at that time. Uh, right before Tyler Lockett got there, or maybe he was, anyway, uh, called him pedestrian, right? And they went on to win the Super Bowl. And Doug Baldwin, there's a quote that talks about, you know, he's kind of mocking whoever said or, or called them pedestrian. Anyway, the Bills receivers are as pedestrian as pedestrian gets. Okay, they may not eat, like, they're young, right? But some of them, I mean, Matt Collins isn't young. Uh, Curtis Samuels certainly isn't young. It's just... This is huge, all right, because what do you, and if you watch the games, what are the broadcasters saying? Oh, Josh Allen just doesn't have that number one guy. Oh, if the Bills had this number one, I, I, I just think the potential of this, and again, I could be over-exaggerating. I think the potential of this has the biggest implication on any of these. So here's a very simple graph that I made for you. Um, and we'll end on this. I think there were three teams who want to trade today. Um, the Browns cut a guy who's going to walk anyway, get some picks out of him. The Jets reunite quarterback and, and successful wide receiver on a team that's lacking morale. And this could be the thing that shifts it after they lose a game by potentially the play of their wide receiver core and Mike Williams, who they're looking to trade, right? That's a win. Raiders. Shorten up a contract, get some space, can rebuild, can start building this young team. That's a win. But there is one team on this list who has Super Bowl aspirations, realistic ones. And that team won much more than a trade today. They won what I think could be the difference in another loss to those darn tootin' Chiefs or a shot at going to New Orleans, baby. Super Bowl 53. Okay, I'm done. All right. I, I just, I, 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 again, I'll be realistic. Um, I do think this is a huge, a huge move for the Bills. Okay. Um, so is Super Bowl getting carried away? Maybe. Uh, but I will say, uh, I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited to see how, how that turns out because I don't want to watch another Chiefs Super Bowl. And I hope I don't have to. Please, Amari Cooper, don't let me down.